I must admit I'm very suspicious of YouTubers who stand in front of a camera and video themselves and you never see a koi pond in sight. Why? Ask yourself. What are they afraid of? I watched one video of one guy sprouting forth with great conviction that you don't need to treat koi for parasites. What utter rubbish! You don't need a microscope as that's wasting money. More utter rubbish. Well, there is such a thing as the Welfare Act 2006. According to the Welfare Act 2006, fish are protected against unnecessarily suffering. So I would be very careful if I were you and I was preaching what amounts to animal neglect. Personally, if a koi has a parasite, we normally notice by flashing or clamped fins or sat on the bottom, etc. It's not normal koi behaviour. So the koi is affected by the parasite because we've noticed the change in their behaviour. If you don't treat the problem, it will go away as the koi will eventually die. Then those parasites will actively look for another host koi to live off until there are no koi left in the pond. Parasite is an organism that lives in or on another organism of another species, its host, and benefits from deriving nutrients at the other's expense. I scrape koi and use a microscope to find out which parasites that are invisible to the naked eye and treat accordingly. If left untreated, koi will be weakened and a secondary bacterial infection will occur. Make no mistake about it, parasites will not only feed, they will breed and multiply on your koi, but also inflict serious damage to the koi. So if you notice a problem with your koi, take action but take the correct action. Make sure you know what the parasite is that you're treating for. Shotgun approaches do not work. For flukes, I find this re regime works for me, but do it at your own risk. Clean the pond well, then use CT the day before, then use Fluxov Plus for flukes as a full dose and leave a day clear and then repeat with half a dose of fluke solve, and repeat and leave a day clear, and then another half a dose, so that they have basically two doses spread over six days. All other parasites can be dealt with with Arapex, so you don't have to worry which parasite it is. If you can't identify it, or you're not sure which one it is, you can use it. One dose one day and a second dose the next day. It turns the water green but you must have hard water. So check the instructions first. In 38 years of keeping koi, I have never known a parasite issue go away or stabilize. They have always, without exception, got worse with the parasites multiplying at an alarming rate. You do need a microscope or someone who has one. Once you find a parasite on the slide, don't stop looking. Go over the whole slide as there may be more than one type of parasite. So treat the most serious first. Join a koi club. They often have health advisors that will give you good sound advice rather than social media with the faceless and tubeless self-proclaimed experts who often give dangerous or misleading advice. No, I'm not an expert. I do not proclaim to be one, but I have gained some knowledge over the years. Judge for yourself whether the advice I give is sound or not.